Today, NVIDIA announced their new monster system. New NVIDIA GPU is garbage, RTX 5000 require one wild change, and Ryzen 9000 is built on what? Welcome everyone to Gamer Mel. First up for today, NVIDIA just announced an absolute monster computer system called the EOS Supercomputer, which is a high-performance data center scale supercomputer. I'm talking this bad boy comes with a whopping 576 DGX H100 systems. For those who don't remember, the DGX H100 comes with 8 H100 AI GPUs each, meaning it comes with 4,608 H100 accelerators in one system. Don't forget that a single H100 can cause costs upwards of $40,000, so it's like a computer with well over 4,000 brand new cars inside. What's even more wild is the performance it gets at 18.4 exaflops of FP8 AI performance. To combine all of these accelerators, the EOS supercomputer uses the Quantum 2 InfiniBand architecture, and all of this comes together to be ranked number 9 in the top 500 supercomputers around the world. For software, it uses NVIDIA's AI Enterprise and NVIDIA's NVIDIA Base Command, which I have to admit is kind of an awesome name for software like this. Can you imagine in Star Wars they're on the phone with tech support and they ask if they've tried turning Base Command off and on again? I don't know, that name's just pretty funny to me, but yeah, the entire system is powered by the DGX Super Pod architecture, so I guess it's the start of the matrix or something? I don't know, but this is definitely one impressive supercomputer, and NVIDIA plans to use it to further the AI market moving forward. And speaking of moving forward, I think we can all agree that when you subscribe to GamerMeld for all your PC hardware news, you're making a pivotal step forward in your life. So if you haven't done that, it's free. So don't tell me nothing good in life life is free. Moving on, next up for today, NVIDIA's new GPU just got one of its first reviews, and it's bad. I'm talking about their $180 RTX 3056 6GB version. Don't forget that that name is extremely misleading as the card doesn't just come with less memory when compared to the 8GB 3050. The 8GB model also comes with 11% more CUDA cores, 21% higher boost clock, longer memory bus, and higher power draw. In fact, one of the only positives about this card is that it's the fastest GPU that's solely powered by the PCI Express slot. The good news stops there, as Tech Power Up's review shows this card is really bad. In fact, it's surprisingly 20 to 30% slower than the regular 8GB 3050. It's even slower than the extremely old at this point GTX 1660 Ti, which was already fairly slow when it came out. Of course, this isn't billed as some high-end card, but it's honestly just sad. The 1660 Ti is 20 20% faster than the 6GB 3050 at 1080p, 21% faster at 1440p, and 18% faster at 4K. AMD's own RX 6600 costs 20 to $30 more, yet it's a whopping 60% faster. So yeah, please do not buy this GPU. And next up, NVIDIA's RTX 5000 series of GPUs could actually make a pretty wild requirement. The story comes from a new leak from Moore's Law is Dead, who claims that NVIDIA is set to require all next-gen GPUs to use the PCI Express 6.0 16-pin connector. Remember that I went over a revision of NVIDIA's connector a little while back from Igor's lab. That was called the 12V 2x6 connector, and it came with shorter sense pins, so if the connector came a little loose, it would cease to work instead of, well, you know, melt. It came with some other changes as well, including 75 watt more power draw, and this new connector was under PCI Express Base 6.0. So I actually believe that this is more or less the connector he's referring to. Now, I say that because a recent report is claiming the next-gen NVIDIA cards won't have some new connector, but the 12V 2x6 connector is already in 40 series GPUs. So Moore's Law is Dead may not be referring to a brand new, never-before-seen connector, which means this leak could still be right. Either way, according to his sources here, you can see that NVIDIA is thinking about requiring the PCI Express 6.0 connector across all their next-gen cards. That may not seem like a big change, but keep in mind that plenty of third-party 40 cards on the lower end still use 8-pin connectors. So this would completely end that. One source even claims that it would include the 5060. 
I'd say that's bad news given we're already seeing some issues with this new 12E 2x6 connector. This one from Igor's lab wouldn't lock into place. Maybe that was a one-off, but it's certainly not looking good. Luckily, according to his AMD source, AMD isn't planning to move over to the new connector, so at least some GPUs won't require it. But if all of this is true, it's really odd, at least to me, because it would just be Nvidia doubling down on an already poor decision. And lastly for today, with AMD's Ryzen 9000 getting closer, we're starting to get more and more leaks regarding specs. And this one comes from the Chinese publication UDN. According to them, AMD's next-gen Zen 5 CCDs are made from TSMC's 4nm EUV process, which is mostly a slight upgrade over the 5nm EUV the Ryzen 7000 is built on. But what's wild is that if this is right, Zen 5C. Remember the C moniker is effectively AMD's little cores made for dense server chips, as well as hybrid core designs like Intel. And according to this, they're built on TSMC's 3 nanometer process. As for why they're using a better process for the Zen 5C cores, there are a few possibilities. Tech Power Up mentions the fact that 3 nanometers could be a way to increase the clock speed at the lower voltages required in smaller cores. Not only that, but according to this report, both CCDs will enter mass production in Q3 of this year. Of course, we've somewhat heard earlier dates in this before, but time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen CPUs, or are you more excited for next-gen GPUs? And what do you think about this requirement from NVIDIA on a 16-pin connector? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day!